I was I was on Columbia. It was 1963, and I I, I this is about the last of the uh, of the pop rock and roll records I was making. Right. Uh, Columbia Records brought me into a a a room. And, and all the, the big shots come down and they, they were trying to convince me to record Donna the Prima Donna in Italian because they wanted to expand their distribution in Europe and they were, they were telling me that Paul Anka did a song and it went really well in Milan and uh, you know and, and it's a funny thing when I went to Italy they thought Paul Anka was one name Paul Anka well, I know it. It was like one word. <laughs> so uh, I, I said, no, I'm not recording this in Italian. No way. You know, I, that's what I'm doing here. I don't sing my grandfather's uh, music. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing, you know, let's kick some ass. You know, I'm like, so <clears throat> uh, they're, they're inundating. They're, they're like badgering me over this thing. I mean, every other day, come in the room, they bring Goddard Leibison in, who was the president. They, Clive Davis was signing my checks. He was like a, a kid, a, a young lawyer up there. And uh, <clears throat> so they're calling me into the room. Dion, you gotta do this. Please do this for us. So they wear me down. I said, who's gonna hear it? I said, okay, uh, and they said, we had it translated. You had it translated? Let me see it. So they give me the phonetics that I could read in English, American. So I said, give me the real Italian lyrics. So I had the phonetics and I had the real Italian lyrics. And I brought them up to my grandfather in the Bronx, Tony, and I sit at his knees in the kitchen there and I'm saying I'm saying hey Gramps just teach me how to teach me this song so he's in Italian he's teaching me the real Italian and I'm looking at the lyrics phonetically and I'm reading them and I'm and we're going and we're going and we're going and then I get like bored to death I said if I can't do this I'll never be so, I, so I'll record it you know and I get the sheets, I go down to Columbia, get in the room, little by little I get the thing done. Probably nobody in, in Europe, you know, in, in Italy is going to understand it, but I, I did it. Lo and behold, the thing becomes a hit. They send me to Europe with the promotion guy, a translator, I, I end up, I'm in Milan. I do this TV show, lip syncing Donna the Prima Donna in Italian. And the, the kids went nuts. They went out of their mind. They went crazy. So I come out of the studio and I get in the in the car with the the, the limo driver and the and the interpreter and the Columbia distributor and the promotion guy and we're sitting in the car and the guy from Italy says, Dion, he says, You're such a success. You so big, you 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 beautiful. They love your song here. They love the Donna the Prima Donna. He says, especially the part in the, in the bridge where she pleads with the IRS and she says, please don't take my house. My husband died. I have a five children. I, I said, what the hell are you talking about? Well, well I, I didn't know you can't tran... I didn't never ask my grandfather what it meant in English. And I surely... I didn't know. I don't know how to speak Italian. So they translated it, but they, they don't translate it literally. They wrote new lyrics. And I had no idea what I was singing about. Well, that's, that's what makes it hit. That's a, that's a great story.